want all of us, please open your eyes and let me teach you something. Watch this. If I'm holding money, so I have your attention now. Come, sir. Watch this. If Michael is sick or in need of breakthrough or he's trusting God to wipe his tears in any area, are we together now? And then he comes to meet me as a man of God and I tell him, Michael, give me 1,000 naira and I will pray for you and I will sow a seed. I guarantee you in the name of the Lord Jesus, you just cancel that spiritual transaction. Anointing will never, has never been an instrument in exchange for money. Are we together now? I can bless him. Listen, let me tell you why many people, especially many young pastors and young prophets, are fraud. Their, their lives look like they are fake. Some of them are not fake. The truth is that they are violating this law because you never buy the power of God. No, sir. Is God speaking to us? I can bless him and he decides to sow a seed into my life. He can use the money and buy a tape or buy a book. A pastor can challenge people in the church to sow seeds for a project. That's all right. But where the money is in direct demand so that you will supply anointing is called witchcraft. If you are doing it here, stop it now. Let me tell you now stop it not later now stop it between you and god let it never happen you will never see the power of god that way remember in the book of acts the gentleman who wanted to buy power from peter and he said your money perish with you pastors have reduced themselves and reduced the potency of the anointing of the spirit i know we need money ministries need money don't get me wrong i know i know that pastors need money they have families but not to compromise with the anointing the anointing will bring you money big time people will surprise you but it's not going to be this way are we together all those things where you carry offering basket and as i heal you you drop your own whether you call it free will or whatever if it came in demand for the anointing brothers and sisters if you ever saw result it was the mercy of god not a justification of what happened this is one thing that i've seen that is eating people in the church you do not use the anointing for merchandise no you will be blessed you will be changed look let me tell you bless people and allow them to decide to honor you they will surprise you how much can i charge you for a breakthrough how much can i charge you for miracles let's assume that you receive a breakthrough and then you i ask you to pay me ten thousand twenty thousand let's even assume that i ask you to pay me fifty thousand and you bring it I have received wages not favor wages but by the time i bless you and i leave you to the god that sent me he himself will move you and you will come with one million naira ten times what i would have demanded and you will bless me it's impossible to be a true servant of god and bless people without god moving them to bless you it's no it never happens if nobody is blessing you it's because your anointing is not notable enough are we together this is one of the reasons why many people are rushing into ministry because it seems like it's working someone gets into ministry and in four months he has ten jeeps he raised offering for himself and 10 people gave and there are rich people you see people are desperate so whatever i said i beg please take the jeep and heal me i'm tired of all this trouble but god is watching 
and you find out that they rise and never get to certain levels and God says I can't take you international with this attitude you will misrepresent me your motif is corrupted 